let's talk about recursive functions in F sharp. So we've seen already how you would define a normal function in F sharp. We could do that, for example, by saying, using the let keyword and then defining some function um, of a parameter a, and then we would implement the body of this to return, let's say, a plus one. That would be one particular function we could define. But recursive functions are self-referencing, as I assume you know, and there is a special way of defining these in F-sharp. So we cannot simply do um, something like func of, um, well, a minus one, uh, this would not compile uh, currently, but nevertheless, just for the sake of illustration here, we wouldn't be able to compile this because we would not be able to find um, func, and we also get a warning of that here. And in F sharp, there is actually a special way of defining these kinds of recursive functions. Um, and that is using the, the special keyword uh, rec. So we would define a function in the following way. We would write let rec, and then we would define the function name. So let's say func1, and we can take parameter a, for example, um, here, and then we would define the body. And the rest of this would be very similar to what you're used to in other languages. So let's say we have an if statement here. We say if uh, a equals one, um, then we return one. Um, if that's not the case, we uh, can return a plus um, function one of, uh, let's say, a minus one. Okay, so this should be give us very simple recursive behavior just for the sake of illustration here. Um, if we then want to print the output of this just to make sure that it works, um, we would do a simple print statement. Okay, and then we can apply this to function one uh, of, well, let's say parameter value three, like this. So if we run this, we should get something that compiles. And remember, when you're running a script, you should always save it first so that um, the code that you have defined actually runs. And if we give this a second now, we should see um, an output for this function call. So we can see the number six here, and that is what we would get if we call this recursive function because we call it on three, and that means we would first, well, we would recursively add the smaller integer until one. So we would add one plus two plus three, and that would give us six in this case. So that's very quickly just an illustration of how you define recursive functions in F sharp. You need to provide this rec value unless it is a member function of a particular class, in which case you don't need to do so. But in most circumstances, this rec keyword is necessary uh, in contrary to many other languages.